Atlas are lying. Atlas are lying. 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 In this video, I'll show you how I found out how the change, the lie, is hidden in their updated T's and C's, and how when I directly asked them, they answered in a very deceptive way. It took me three emails before they actually came clean. Okay, for legal reasons, I have to say this is all just my own opinion. I will show you the receipts. Uh, here's one from Next, and here's one from Tesco's. I think I got milk. And I will later on explain what I mean by lie. You can decide yourself if Atlas have been upstanding and honest, or if their pants are on fire. Hello, I'm Master J. This is my honest review of Artless. If you've seen my previous honest reviews, like of the Honey Chrome extension app, spoiler alert, it's a scam. Unlike other honest reviews on YouTube, I will not be pushing an affiliate link or sugarcoating the truth to make money off you guys, but I will have done a lot of research. Now, if you like this sort of nonsense, do please subscribe. Also, you can go on to buymeacoffee.com and buy something or just help the channel out with a donation. That would be amazing. Be my friend for a week. The link for that is in the description and the pinned comment below. It's a music licensing company. You pay X amount to join and then you can use their music tracks like this one. Or this one. Or this one. I told you it was their USP, and it really is. It's the thing they're known for. It's what makes them stand out from all the other music licensing companies. A company lying about their unique selling point, that is unheard of. It would be like Activia yogurt lying about its yogurts having special bacterial ingredients. Or Red Bull lying their product gives you wings. So listening to Christian Horner after the British Grand Prix, Red Bull certainly gives you whinge. Artless aren't lying about some inconsequential part of their offering. This is fundamentally the most significant and unique part of their service. To prove how significant Artless, and I'm going to call it their forever license, is. Here's a Joe Kopmeyer video from 2020. It was direct head-to-head -head versus Epidemic Sound. He had missed that Artless had a forever license. How does he rate Artless in the battle when he doesn't know they have a forever license. What does Artless have to offer you? Nothing. Nothing. They really need to step that up. I might not ever get an ad from Artless thrown on my video again. They might blacklist me for this video, but I do not care. It's not a good deal. Joe did an updated video comparison a few months later. Artless again versus Epidemic Sound again, but now also against two other competitors. So now it's a four-way battle, but there are two differences to the first video. The first is that Joe now knows that Artlist has a forever license. And the second difference is Artlist went from being rated last, and it's not a good deal, to being the most highly rated service of all of them. Remember, the only difference between the two videos was Joe now knows that Artlist have a forever license. Because of the way that their licensing system works, which I believe is the best licensing system out of all of the other ones, when you download a song from Artlist, you have that song forever to put in any video you want for as long as you would like. If I download a song right now with my active subscription, and then I let that subscription end, I can still use the song that I just downloaded in future videos even when I don't have a subscription. No, you can't. That song is mine to use forever. No, it isn't. Which is really awesome. <laughs> but not true. Really cool. <sighs> I believe after the first video, Artless reached out to Joe and explained to him their forever license. As in the second video, not only does Joe know about that, but now he says the video is sponsored or he has a partnership with Artlist. Joe, did Artless contact you a couple of months after the second video to tell you that they had just stopped their forever license? If not, 
it seems as if they're trying to profit on misinformation. There are in excess of 100 Artlist review videos on YouTube with over 2 million views. Here is a 60 second montage of just 10 of them. And yes, the vast majority of these do say they are sponsored by Artlist. The music you downloaded while having an active subscription, you can use that even five years afterwards in a new video that you made because it covers you forever. And the songs are yours to keep. And here, you can use the music as many times as you want after you download it. It's yours to use. You can use any song that you've downloaded forever. Did you catch that? Even after your subscription is canceled. You do cancel your subscription. Songs that you've downloaded are free to use however you want. Once you download a song with a subscription, it's licensed to use forever, period. You have access to the songs in perpetuity. So even if you don't renew your subscription after a year, all of the stuff that you downloaded while you had an active subscription, you can still use in new projects. When you download a song, you have the license for that song in perpetuity. That song is yours to use in any projects made while you're a subscriber and any made after you're not. I'm not saying any of these YouTubers have done anything wrong. Remember, at the time these guys made the videos, what they're saying, the information, was correct. Now, some of these videos were published just a few months before the Forever license was taken away. One of those videos actually came out just a few hours before they changed it. Has Artlist contacted any of these content creators tell them their videos are now incorrect and are misleading their viewers? I think not. They can claim that these videos are nothing to do with them. I mean, they can't be held accountable for other people's material having incorrect content. Well, Artlist, you sure were quick to sponsor all these reviews and let them know about your forever license. What makes this deceit worse is unlike their competitors with Artlist, there's no monthly subscription. You have to sign up for a full year. So it won't be until late 2022, the first people will come out of their subscription and realize they bought into Artlist on a lie. Now back to Joe, as he explains rather well the reason for their policy for having to sign up for a year. It again reinforces the forever license is Artlist's unique selling point. So the reason that they don't let you pay monthly is because if you could pay monthly, you could pay $15 and download all of their entire library. As far as money goes, you could buy a one-year subscription to Artlist, download all the songs you like, and never have to subscribe again. They've taken away the forever license, but they've kept the minimum subscription to a full year. I guess if it wasn't for this video, Artlist would have got away with it. And I would have succeeded too if it weren't for you meddling... Kids from the YouTube channel Original MCW. Artless might feel they're not lying. They'll claim, but it's all in our T's and C's. Even though everyone everywhere in the internet is saying they have a forever license, they haven't said that. So maybe they can plausibly say, but we did not lie. And then when I emailed them and they didn't actually answer the question, I had to ask them three times and eventually they did. They might say, well, you know, we might have avoided telling you at first, but that's not a lie. Maybe, but in my opinion, their lie is a lie of omission. The lie of omission, that's the, uh, the favourite lie of anyone who's ever been in a long-term relationship that was loveless. And you're trying to find a way out. Too scared to leave her. Now, husband, tell me honestly, did you sleep with the blonde waitress? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Hey. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I feel like we got a real connection going on here. Lie down. That was my dress. That was my underwear. Did you just rip the hair out of my head? Honey, I have never and I would never cheat on you with a woman with blonde hair on her head. You're a good boy. To reward you, husband, I'm going to allow you to sex me once again this year. I know, twice in one year. Ooh, I'm a slut. Ooh, <laughs> um, lie down. <laughs> Okay. 
What the fuck? I was interested in joining Artlist, primarily because of their forever license, but when I read their T's and C's, it didn't quite seem to add up to what I thought it meant. It's clearly titled... Two. The assets you download are yours to use forever. The assets, uh, they are the songs, and forever suggests that, like all the other videos and articles say, you get a forever license. It's crystal clear. For now and for all future time, eternally. Okay, so that forever really is forever. Cool, let me sign up, but, but, but wait a minute. The point is that once you downloaded assets under this license and integrated them into your projects, you can use your projects forever and ever, even after your subscription has expired. That's saying something different. That's saying that they are like their competitors, that projects made while subscribed are good to go forever, but once unsubscribed, you can't use any downloaded assets or songs to make anything new. So which is it? Ooh. Either it's badly worded and nothing has changed, or it's deviously worded and they are sneaky bastards. So I had to look into it a bit further. Here is their current pricing page. It clearly says, All the music is yours to use forever. And all the plans have lifetime use. It seems obvious. Yeah, except you can still read that two ways. So everything is fine unless they really are sneaky bastards. I used the Wayback Machine to look at Artless T's and C's to see if they changed. From their origin in late 2016 until the end of April 2021, the T's and C's were the same but different to the current version I've been reading. So it seems a big change happened at the end of April 2021. This is September 2017. The snapshot over the years and months, as I said, are the same right up until April 2021. And they're all worded like this. The license to use is valid in perpetuity if the works have been downloaded with a valid subscription. That says what I expected the current contract to say. A license to use is a license to use an intellectual property. In this case, the intellectual property is each and any song you download from Artlist. So the contract says your right to use any song you download in any project you want lasts forever, as long as you downloaded the asset, the song, while you had an active subscription. Again, that's what I've been calling a forever license. Here is a current Google search result. Note it says, any song you download is yours to use in perpetuity. But when you click through, there's no mention of the word perpetuity or reference to any song you download being yours to use forever. No, it has. Any assets you use in a project during your active subscription are yours to use forever. Which again, seems to say the same thing and, and, and maybe it does, maybe it does, unless artless really truly are sneaky bastards. The internet didn't help us just like the YouTube videos, they all tell you Artlist gives you a forever license. I realised the only way to clear this up was to actually contact Artlist and ask them the question directly. So I emailed them. Their response was not clear, so I emailed them again. Their second response was equally not clear. So I sent them a third email. They finally came clean. You don't get a forever license with Artlist. And if you joined in 2016, it turns out in perpetuity and forever means until the end of April, 2021. I noticed you have a lifetime offer for tracks if downloaded while you were a member. Can I confirm what that means? Does that mean if I download it while a member, I can use that track again in another project anytime in the future, even if I am no longer a member of the service? That seems to me like it's a clearly asked question. And here's Artlist's response. Our unlimited use means that when you use an Artlist song in your project during your subscription, it's yours to use forever. Even if you don't renew your license, your music must be used during your active subscription for the license to be valid. Oh, come on, that kind of sort of says both things, doesn't it? Oh, come on, they could have answered it more clearly. It's like I've gone, hey, Artlist, just answer this plainly. If I download an asset, a song, while subscribed, can I once no longer subscribe, use that song again in any future project? Just answer that to me clearly now in plain English. And they've gone, the answer to your proposition is simple. Our first is in perpetual. 
but doesn't end there. Our second is in a word that rhymes with tree. A hole you can use forever. If you can work that out, then that is our guarantee. Um, your, your first is your, your first is in your hole. I tried again. I emailed on the 21st of July and again, I didn't get a clear answer. So I sent a longer third email on the 24th of July and this time I wanted to make sure it was impossible for them to weasel out of answering clearly, to which I got this response. Hello, Jay. Did Jessica from Artless start her email to me with a kiss? I think she realised that confusion wasn't going to work on me, so now she's trying seduction. <laughs> Actually, that might work. But in this email, she clearly explains that Artlist do not have a forever licence anymore, and I'd broken her. I'd got to the truth. She wrote what I had suspected all along. Our terms for use were updated in May 2021. To clarify, songs can only be used to create new projects during your active subscription. Once your subscription expires, the songs can't be used for any new projects. From May 2021, they scrapped their forever licence, and they didn't really tell anyone, which means since then, they have been lying by omission in my opinion. Please don't sue. Anyway guys, you have the information so it's up to you to decide. Go on, decide. Our art list, sneaky bastards, it's up to you. <laughs> yes they are. <laughs> This is my final score in this review of Artlist. I give Artlist in a score out of 10. 10. <laughs> mm. Goat sperm. How do you know what goat sperm smells like? Okay, okay, this is an unbiased review. It is unbiased. I'll tell you very soon what happened when I actually asked Artless if they wanted to sponsor the video. It's not sponsored, but forgetting morals, corporation lies for profits, just looking at the product, they do have a great product. It's so easy to use the songs in so many different medias. The quality of the songs are excellent. So if you're able to pay for a year up front, it is a great offer, but first maybe spend a month for free just listening to the music, and if you like the tracks and think they'll work with what you're doing, and you're making videos on almost any platform, then Artlist are a very good product for you, which is why I gave them 10 out of 10. After this video, I'd expect Artlist to come out of their perpetual closet and be honest, or rather be clear. I also expect them to contact all their sponsored videos and affiliated reviews and correct them on what you can actually do with downloaded assets after you're no longer a subscriber. I would also expect their competitors to realise that Artlist have made this change, as they all still list Artlist as having a forever licence in their own head-to-head -head comparisons. And as I've done all this legwork and I'm still looking for a licensing company to use, if any of them want to contact me or even Artlist, and in return for an honest review, maybe they can give me a year's free subscription. Okay, this is where the corruption starts. And finally, here's the email I sent asking Artlist to sponsor this video. But just quickly before then, this is a new channel, so if you like this sort of nonsense, do please subscribe. Also, if I saved you money as you're about to subscribe to Artlist or you just want to help out, you can go onto our Buy Me A Coffee page and make a donation or join us there for exclusive content and updates, or you can buy something there like a book or some songs I wrote. The link is in the description and the pinned comment below. I was thinking of making a YouTube video about Artless and wondered if you wanted to sponsor it. Yes, I called them Artless all the way through the email, although they had tried to use deceit and cunning. In the end, they did it so poorly, crudely, and lacked the skill to just outright lie. They would have got away with it if they'd done that. Instead, they hid behind Weasley words and after three emails, cracked. So, Artless, yeah. The video would be a rundown review of Artless. 
I feel I've been true to my word. This video has been a rundown of art lists. They sent me back a blah blah email and so I responded with an email that I think is right up their alley. I'm sure they're going to sponsor this video now. Hi, thanks for that. Do please pass this on to the partnerships team. Please note I wasn't planning on promoting Artless on any of my social channels. I was just seeing if you wanted to sponsor my Artless review video. To sponsor my video, I'm only looking for $10. And for that, you'd get a license to use my review in perpetuity. You could change everything about your business and for an unlimited time, use my outdated review to trick people into joining your service. And you can do that forever. Asterix. Let me know. Thanks, Master J. Asterix. Please note that my T's and C's have changed since I wrote this email, but I haven't informed you about that, and so you'll actually not get any of the package as described above. <laughs>